Hi guys, so today I'm going to react to my dad rewrites the Dream SMP storyline. No, I have never you know, seen the Dream this SMP before. has a whole storyline and cool characters. Well, I got my dad to tell the story of the Dream SMP, except he knows nothing about it. I gave him a brief list of locations and Minecraft skins, but besides that, he made the whole story himself, and I made it into a movie. It was, it was an interesting story. Interesting it took a lot of effort story. to make this video, so I'd really appreciate it if you consider subscribing. It's right, completely so free, and I Biggie hope you enjoy. That Video. All started in the community house. It was a very beautiful, fine day. Brown bag was there. Belly right, face so... was there. And matchstick and roar. And they all were listening. Brown bag. It all started in the community house. It was a very beautiful, fine day. Brown bag. Okay, so that's Will Pursue. Belly. That's Dream. Face was there. And matchstick. That's Tommy in it. And Roy. That's Tubbo. And they all were listening to Cat. Everybody was having a good time singing along to Cat, except for Matchstick. Turns out Matchstick, Matchstick does not care for Cat. He wanted to hear Melahoy. Melahoy? <laughs> Melahoy. He wanted to Melahoy. Stop this cat nonsense. He was on fire. So he actually went over to the disc player and he, and he kicked the cat <gasps> music right off. Oh, come on. I like cat music. Like, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> That's so my favorite music disc in Minecraft, by the way. Punching each other. And Roy's like, stop, guys. What the heck? I thought you were friends. And even Brown Bag, he was like trying to restrain the other two. And so finally, okay. they broke it up. But things were never the same between Matchstick and Bellyface. Matchstick and Bellyface. Bellyface was at his house, sitting on the couch. And now there's a knock on the door, and it's Mr. Grimm. Mr. Grimm's like, Bellyface, what happened? What did you do to Matchstick? Bellyface is like, I didn't do anything to him. And Mr. Grimm is like, well, I got news for you, man. He's going around town, and he's stealing everybody's cat discs. What? Stealing cat discs? Stealing cat discs? Yeah, and he's got like a bunch of people helping him. Oh, come on, him. enough with the cat man, discs. That's my favorite Ernie type of music. And Elton's all like going yeah. around to everybody's place, and then whenever they see a cat disc, this, they snatch it, but here's the crazier part. They steal it, but they actually replace it with a Melahai music disc. And then they take the cat ones and they burn them. Bellyface is pissed off because he oh, likes come on. He's stop like, burning well, we my stop favorite this. music and in Mr. my Mr. Grimm says, exactly. That's why I came to you first. I figured you would not like this at all. We got to get our own team together to stop this. Captain Dogface, he's always good. Santa Pig, really got to get Santa Pig behind our battle. And then check a flag. Santa Pig, check a flag. Captain Dogface, me, Mr. Grimm, and you, Bellyface. There's nothing we can't do. Let's go get him. So they grab their weapons and they march out. And they see in the distance a big bonfire and they figure maybe that's what's going on. And so it's coming from the hotel. Matchstick and his team, they're busy burning up these cat discs as fast as they can. They're throwing more and more cat discs into the fire. Mr. Grimm, Captain My Dogface, goodness. check our flag. They're hiding behind the buildings, waiting for Bellyface's command. Three, two, one. Go! They pop out shooting like crazy at Matchstick and his team. Arrows are flying through the air. Checker Flag gets a nice clean shot off at Ernie and he goes down. Camel Man comes oh running over. Ernie, goodness. Ernie, come on, get up, get up. We need you, we need you. But it's too late. Ernie's dead. Bellyface and Santa Pig, they pop out with their oh, no, that and they're going right that at was, uh, Camel Man. And they get him. They I go don't down, know. down. They're both dead. Matchstick Please. is the only one left, so he's surrounded by the five of them. And Bellyface says, it's all over, Matchstick. Give it up, man. Drop the gun. So Matchstick Drop surrenders. He drops his gun, and he says, all right, I'll stop. I'll stop. Bellyface says, listen, you stole all these discs, and so you're going to jail, bro. You're going to jail. And they march him down Ooh. to the Pandora's vault, oh. okay? And they throw him in prison. They lock him up. They say, listen, man, you know what your punishment is going to be while what you're in he? prison? Can you guess? That's that's right, you're gonna have to listen to cat music. <laughs> oh, that's, you better though. give him Pipe that it into his cell punishment. and it's like so loud, you know, and he's like, it's like torture. <laughs> Belly face is like, yep, that's what you get for being a cat thief. 
You like Miller High, don't town, you? You can hear a man giving a presidential speech. His okay, so that's the Eric, and, 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 and that's Quackity. I don't know, is that Quackity? Of your nation, there will never be a thief again. I will make sure. I watch F and M C gaming, so I watch his stories, and I know a lot about the channels that they do. Over on the other podium, another presidential candidate is giving his speech. Lego Man, citizens of this great nation, there's no better man for the job than Lego Man because I can build and build and build and I can show people how to build and this city would be the best built city ever. If you okay, good point, good point. I like a man. good built city. The votes are in. Thankfully, I'm just sitting in the winner. Will it be words. Lego Man or Red Man? Lego Man Lego won man. the election. Woo. The crowd was cheering. Lego Man will be the next president of Lamanburg. But Redcoat was furious. He went over and said, I don't believe Lego Man is a legitimate candidate. He's a legitimate candidate. And I've hired my lawyer, Swindleman, to represent Swindleman. me. And Swindleman gets up there and Swindleman says, This Lego Man, no way he could have won the vote. Lego Man rigged this election. Oh, come on. Who wants? But the crowd I, didn't care. I really like a Lego Man good build. And he series. would be their next president. I mean, oh. Right. City. I really adore it. So Swindleman hires Two Face to assassinate Assassins. Lego Man. Oh. And Two Face is looking all over town, and he finally sees him in the distance. And he moves closer, and as he gets closer, he sees Lego Man is talking to some citizens. Lego They're planning Man. to build a new town. Planning to Two Face. He gets closer. He pulls out his weapon. He aims. And fires! Bam! Oh. He hits Lego Man right in the chest. And he goes down. It's like when when you're in an arguing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just gets shot and gets killed. And uh, I'll I'll pause it. The president has been shot. The, the president, president of Lemanberg. He's down. Ooh. Is he gonna die? They rushed him to the of hospital. Of course he is. And the nurse comes in. The nurse is pretty. Her name is Yeah, Brenna. she is. She, and she says, Oh, Lego Man, you're our new president. I don't want you to die. I don't want you to die. Here's some medicine. And rather than the nurse gives That's Lego a healing Man, potion, some not medicine. medicine. And it really helps. He's getting his energy back. You can see more colors coming into his face. Thank you, Greta. Thank you, Greta. How can I ever repay you? And Greta says, Ah, uh, maybe you'd like to get married one day. You sure are a handsome Lego Man. What? <laughs> The Lego man says, you know what? If I survive this, I will marry you. So okay. Lego man recovers. He's all good. And he agrees Yay, with now we can have a he will good marry deal. her. He finally president. gets out of the hospital. He gets up, gives her a kiss, and he walks out the hospital door. As soon as he gets out the door, bam! Oh! <laughs> Oh Two faces there, God. and he shoots him dead right there on the scene. Just as he recovered, he's gone. And Swindle Man is with Two Face, and Swindle Man says, "Nice shot, Two Face." And then we see Redcoat come in, and Redcoat says, "Well, since Lego Man's dead, and I got the second most votes, I guess well, I'm president now." Oh no! So Redcoat becomes First the new president, but he wants we'll control. He wants to be a dictator. Now you're a and dictator. he tells the people everything's going to go yeah, as that's I the say word now. To use. There'll be no more free elections, and I will be the ruler. I'm going to be your president until the day I die. Oh. Santa Pig comes over. And Santa, Santa Pig. Pig has a big problem okay, with that. Okay, Technoblade, what are you going to do, Listen, Redcoat, you can't do this. And Redcoat says, oh, really? He pulls out his weapon and he shoots <laughs> him. <laughs> Bam. Down goes Santa Pig. I mean, he's gone. Santa Pig is dead. In the town of Lemanburg, they can't believe it. Santa Pig was like, he was a legend. He was like everybody's buddy. Everybody loves Santa Pig. And so the town gets together. And they all rise up to fight against the dictator and try to take him out. Ooh. They gear up. They get their weapons. And they march out. Okay. So they sneak out in the middle of the night and they head towards Redcoat's castle. And as they get closer, they come up with a plan and they send Gumby to climb the castle wall. 
and he goes through a window and he sneaks back down to open the door from the inside. So they all rush inside and they make their way over to Redcoat's throne. He's, He's not there. Trouble. Mr. Grimm's looking around and there he is. He sees there he him. Is. He's running up the stairs. So they all chase after him. Redcoat's running as fast as he can and they're all chasing him. And they're going up the stairs and up the stairs. Finally, Redcoat reaches the roof and he keeps running. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, there's Gummy again. And he pushes Redcoat off the building. <laughs> Bam, he hits the ground with a thud. And he's That's out. the road he's down. Step. And the whole town is so happy that the dictator is gone. That's how it all ends. So what'd you think? Did I get it right? Yep, you got it all right. That's how it went. Yeah. Oh, good. It's a good story. <laughs> okay, so that was me reacting to my dad rewrites the dream SM, um, and that was weird. Bye.